Okay, so uh, welcome to the fifth lecture of the series Unreal Engine 5 for ArcGIS and in today's lecture we will model the kitchen cabinets. So let's get started. I'll go into the top view. Let's add in a cube. Let's scale this down and I will move this right here. Let's snap it here. Let's move this in Z axis. I'll go into the edit mode, but let me first apply rotation and scale so that I have the correct measurements. I'll select this face and I will move this in X direction and I need the edge length of 0.543. Okay. Now I will select this bottom face and I'll move this in Z and I need the edge length of 1.22 meters. Okay. Now I will select this face and let's move this in Y direction. And I need the edge length of 0 0.862 meters. Now I will select this mesh. Let's create a copy. Let's snap it right here. I'll move this in Y axis and I will type in 0 0.005. Just so I have a little bit of gap in between these two cabinets. I'll select this. I'll create another copy. Let's snap it right here. Let's move this 0 0.005. Okay. Okay. Now I will select these cabinets. I'll create a copy. I'll go into the top view. Let's rotate them 90 degrees. I will snap them right here. Then I will select these three and I will snap them right here. Okay. Let's select these and I will move them 0 0.005 just to have a little bit of gap between these two. Okay, now I will select this one. I'll press Shift D and create another copy. Let's snap this right here and let's move this 0 0.005. Okay, so our uh, upper cabinets are ready. Uh, now I will model the lower cabinets. So let's hide them. Let's go into the top view and I will add in a plane to the scene. Let's scale this down and let's snap it right here. Okay. I'll go into the edit mode, but let me first apply rotation and scale. Now I will go into the edit mode and I will select these two vertices and I will move them in Y direction and I need the edge length of 3.32 meters. Okay. Yes. Now I will select these two vertices. And I will need the edge length of 0 0.49 meters. Now I will add a loop cut. Let's move this. And I need the edge length of 0 0.49 meters. Okay, now I will select these two vertices. Let's extrude them in X axis. And I need 3.55 meters. Let's select all of these and I'll extrude them in Z and I will type in 0 0.0955. Now this is the base on which we will model our lower cabinets. Okay. So yes, let's create a cube. Let's uh, snap this cube right here at this point. Okay. Let's uh, place it right here. I'll go into the edit mode, uh, but I will first apply rotation and scale. I'll select these four vertices and I need the edge length of 0 0.861. Okay. Now I will uh, select this face. Let's move this in Y. And I need the edge length of 0 0.789 meters. Okay. 
now I will uh, select this face let's move this in X and we'll need the edge length of 0 0.531 okay yes I'll select this mesh let's create a copy let's snap it right here and let's move this in Y 0 0.005 in negative direction just to create a little bit of gap in between these two cabinets then I'll select this one again let's create another copy let's move and snap this right here let's move this in Y again okay so let's select these vertices and I need the edge length of uh, 0 0.236 Now I will select this mesh and let's create another copy. Let's snap it right here. Let's move this 0 0.005 in negative direction. I will select these vertices and I need the edge length of 0 0.948. Let me first disable the snapping. Now I will select this mesh, I'll create a copy. Let's snap this mesh right here. Let me first enable snapping. Okay. Now I will uh, move this uh, particular face in X direction. And I need the edge length of 2.3. Okay, yes. Now I will select this mesh, I'll create another copy. Let's snap this mesh right here and I will move this in X. I'll type in 0 0.005. I'll select this face and I need the edge length of 0 0.861 meters. Okay, now I will select this mesh again, I'll press Shift D and I will move this in X direction. Let's snap it right here, I'll go into the edit mode, select all of these vertices and I will snap them up to this point. Okay, so now our lower cabinets are also ready but we still have to model the drawers. Let's select this mesh, I'll go into the edit mode. Let's uh, select this face. I'll press Shift D and X. Let's separate this mesh by selection. And I will select this mesh. I'll go into the edit mode. And I will extrude this in X direction. And I will type and I will type in 0 Let's disable snapping. I will select this face and I will extrude this and I will type in 0 0.005. Okay. Now I will select this mesh. I'll enable my snapping. Let's snap this right here. Okay. Now I will select these top vertices and I need the edge length of 0 0.419 meters okay so yes I'll select this mesh again and I will create a copy And then I'll snap this right here. Let's move this and I will in Z direction and I will type in 0 0.01. Okay. I'll go into the edit mode. I'll select these vertices. And I will move them in Z direction. And I need the edge length of 0 0.196. Okay. Now I will... Uh, 
select this mesh again let's create another copy let's snap this right here and I will type in 0 0.01 okay yes okay so our drawers are ready for this cabinet let's copy uh, this mesh shift D and I will snap it right here I'll go into the edit mode I'll select all of these and I will snap them right here let's select this mesh again and I will create another copy press shift T and Y I'll go into the edit mode I'll select these vertices let's move them in Y axis and I will snap them right here okay okay now I will select this mesh again let's create another copy let's go into the edit mode I'll select these vertices and I will snap them right here and then I'll select these vertices and I will snap them right here okay okay so now I will select this one I'll create another copy okay now I will snap uh, this mesh right here I'll go into the edit mode I'll select these vertices and I will snap it right here GX 0 0.005 okay GX and I will snap it right here now I will select these vertices and I will move them in Z axis until I have the edge length of 0 0.629 meters I'll select these vertices and I will move them in X direction and I'll need the edge length of 0 0.862 okay now I will select this mesh I'll create another copy let's snap it right here I'll select this mesh again and I'll create another copy let's snap it right here I'll select these vertices I'll snap it right here I'll select these vertices and now I'll snap them right here okay okay so yes now I will select this one I'll go into the edit mode let's select this face and separate this one by selection now I will uh, insert the faces and I will type in 0 0.0219 okay then I will delete this face let's select all of these edges and I will extrude them in Y axis let's isolate this mesh and I will add a loop cut and now I will uh, disable my snapping and add a little bit of bevel and now I will press P to separate this bevel by selection and now I will select these edges I will select this edge and this one and this one and I will press F then I'll select this edge, this one, and this one, and I'll press F. I'll select these two edges, press F. I'll select these two vertices, and I will delete those vertices. 
let's select these two vertices and delete them as well okay now i will select this cabinet let's isolate this let's go into the wireframe mode i'll select all of these vertices and i will enable my snapping and i will snap them right here and now i can dissolve this edge be advised that i have enabled auto merge in here okay so you need to also uh, enable this auto merge otherwise you will have the overlapping vertices okay okay so now i will select this mesh i'll press shift d let's uh, snap it right here i'll select these vertices and i will snap them right here okay so let me first uh, select both of these and i will move them in x direction and i will type in 0 0.005 okay now select this mesh and uh, i'll select these vertices and i will snap them right here okay now i will select this mesh and i will create another copy i'll press shift d i'll move in z direction let's snap this one right here let me snap it again okay yes let's move this in z direction i will type in 0. 01 okay yes i'll press alt h to unhide everything okay yes okay so i guess our kitchen cabinets are ready okay so uh, that's it for this lecture and i will see you guys in the next one